What we're going to be going through here is the depletion of natural resources for determining the depletion base and rate. And we're going to be going through a mining and minerals example here. So for our example here, Corporation A, a mining company here, purchased land here in 20X1, beginning of the year here in the land purchase cost here was two and a half million dollars and they estimated that the minerals on the land here there would be 60,000 tons in the minerals that would be mined off the land here and it was a requirement that the land had to be cleaned up and restored to its natural uh, condition here and that was estimated to be hundred eighty thousand dollars and then there was salvage value on the land after it was cleaned up here and restored the estimated salvage value to be two hundred thousand dollars and there were development costs that were incurred here uh, prior to mining this uh, land here four hundred thousand dollars and then the minerals removed here in 20x1 thirty thousand tons and the minerals sold here in 20x1 were twenty four thousand tons so now what we have to do here is we have to determine the depletion base here and also the depletion rate here. So uh, for our depletion base here, what's included here? So the, the depletion base cost included would be any acquisition cost, any exploration cost, development here, and restoration cost here. All right, so what we mean by restoration, we have to bring this land back to its um, more or less its natural state here. So what we would for a depreciation base here, what we'd include is the land's purchase cost here at two and a half million uh, plus the cleanup and restoration of 180,000. And then we would be subtracting in, uh, subtracting out the salvage value of the land that was estimated at 200,000. And then add the development cost here of $400,000. So our depreciation base here was $2,880,000. Now to determine our depletion rate here. All we do is we simply take our depletion base that we calculated here at $2,880,000 and divide it by the total estimated minerals that would be mined off this land here at 60,000 tons. Remember that's what we the total amount that was estimated. So uh, what we came up with here would the division gives us a, a rate depletion rate here at 48,000 dollars per ton. So what we've done here, all we've done is we've taken our total cost here and subtracted our salvage value here and then divided by the total estimated units available. In this case it was the 60,000 tons here and uh, that would equal our depletion cost on a per unit basis here of $48 per ton. Okay now let's look at how we'd record this here at the end of the year here. So uh, the corporation here would, our mining company here would have this inventory account set up here for 20X1 on their balance sheet. So they would have debited their inventory account here by the total materials removed here. That was the 30,000 uh, tons times the depletion rate here of $48 per ton. Debit that here for $1,440,000. And then again, we've sold uh, the minerals that were sold were 24,000 tons at $48 per ton. Again, the depletion rate here. So we would have credited or redu reduced our inventory account by $1,152,000. And then we'd recognize it here in our income statement. Uh, debit our cost of goods sold here in the income statement for that amount, $1,152,000. So what remains on our inventory account here at the end of the year here at 1231X1 and the end of the year is simply the balance here, um, uh, the $1,440,000 less the amount sold here of $1,152,000 gives us a balance of $288,000 sitting in our inventory account. Now we have one other thing that we have to account for. It's this accumulation depletion here on this um, mining of this land here and remember uh, what we have here we uh, originally we estimated we had 60 tons here at the depletion rate here of $48 per ton which is that uh, $2,880,000 worth of uh, uh, the depletion base here but this accumulated depletion account here reduces it's a contra asset account to this um, depletion base here of $2,880,000. So what we've done is we've taken the minerals that we removed here, the 30,000 tons times $48 per ton here for the year, and we would have credited this contra asset account here for $1,440,000. So the contra asset account is working against this total depletion base here of $2,880,000. So the net amount that we have here in our depletion base here at the end of the year would just simply be the difference or, again, 
the difference between two million eight hundred eighty thousand and the one million four hundred and forty thousand dollars. So all we've done here is we've just gone through a basic example here for uh, calculating our de go back up here our depletion base here and our depletion depletion rate here. And again, we went through just a very basic example here, but what we come up here with, and it was this depletion cost on a per unit basis here, it's simply the total cost that was involved here, less any salvage value divided by the total uh, estimated units available. This is just the general equation here. And then we just gone and we just recorded it here at the end of the year, just the basic entries that were involved.